Hello and welcome to Tableau Coach. Today I want to spend a few minutes talking about how Tableau can be used for effective risk monitoring. Organizations need to have processes in place to ensure that they meet compliance requirements and to mitigate risk. These processes can be supported by the use of solutions such as Tableau software. Um, it can be leveraged to design dashboards that enable executives and decision makers and others to see how the organization is performing as a whole, and additionally, you can also um, highlight key risks. So Tableau is a data visualization tool that allows you to connect to several data sources, which is helpful, and it allows for quick insights and interactivity. In addition, it, you can also drill down further into the data as long as you have that level of detail in your data, in your data source. So this dashboard here was built using Tableau version 9.2 and the data portrayed is fictitious. So displayed here are eight different charts that each tell a unique story, but together are providing insight into performance and risks of the organization. So let's review each one quickly. The exposure by rating, this is a simple bar chart that shows us the amount of money at risk within each of the credit rating buckets, such as A1, A2, AAA, and so on. <clears throat> we can also see the average line going vertically to see where we have exposure that is higher or lower than the average exposure. Exposure to government and central banks is a map view that utilizes the power of color to help show where we have the highest level of exposure by country. So we can clearly spot that uh, Finland has the highest exposure to government and central banks because it's a dark orange-brown color compared to the lower levels of exposure, which are the darker blue and lighter blue colors. Moving on to operational risk percent of loss amounts. So this is again a bar chart and it shows the operational risk losses for years 2015, which are in the dark gray and 2016 in the, in the green. Um, the risk losses are divided into operational risk loss types, such as we have internal fraud and external fraud, etc. Liquidity and collateral is a dual axis chart it shows the values for years 2010 going through 2016, and it shows collateral in blue color uh, and liquidity in the lighter blue color. Trading book exposure. Trading book exposure is a um, donut chart. So it depicts the exposure for interest rate and equity risk. You could see that we have 170 for interest rate and 1,651 for equity risk. The credit risk exposure, this is a bubble chart that highlights the types of loans that have the largest exposure by percentage of total for the portfolio. Industry analysis, again, um, this is a, well, this one is a scatter plot and it shows the profit and sales performance by industry. The colors here represent different industry types. Now, I understand I don't have a lot of the detail um, zoomed in or shown here, but this is meant to be a sample of what type of reports you can use for, um, for risk management purposes. And lastly, we have liquidity risk. So again, here we have the gray bars representing 2015 and the green 2016. And here we are showing the percentage of liquidity coverage ratio, LCR, and the net stable funding ratio over those two periods. So I hope this video helps explain how Tableau can be leveraged in designing risk dashboards. Thank you for watching.